With the release of Season 5 of the MCC, it brings a lot more armor customization for people to play it around with, but with the recent trailer that came with Season 5, it showcased some extra customization we don't have yet. So what does that mean for the future? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourself up to date. Let's get right into the content here. Well, like I said at the top of this video, we had a bunch of new customization come into Halo 3 recently, which has been fantastic. I love having the new options in the game for Reach and for Halo 3 as well. I think it's just great having more options, but something interesting was I noticed when watching the release trailer for Season 5, that there's actually additional customization that's in that trailer that's currently not in the game. I mean, the first time I watched the trailer, I'm like, oh, this is a really well done trailer. Actually, it was a really, really well done trailer. It like, actually got me excited about playing Season 5, even though it's just like new customization that I've been able to play around with since December. But just watching this trailer got me hyped. But once I kind of took a close eye, kind of broke down frame by frame about what kind of stuff we were seeing in this trailer, there's actually stuff that's in that trailer that's currently not in the game. So does this mean that 343 is holding back some content for later on for more seasons? Or is it just kind of in the works right now? Well, let's take a quick deep dive into some of these screenshots to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So here's one of the first screenshots, actually one of the first shots you even see in the trailer itself. You see a Spartan holding the new weapon camo for the SMGs, which is cool. But when I actually took a chance to actually look at this armor set, I'm like, that looks really cool. How have I not noticed this armor set before? And also with this helmet, it looks totally different. That's because it's currently not in the game right now. So this cool lit up Tron looking kind of armor set, currently not in the game right now. This could possibly mean that we'll see it later on with other seasons coming in with the MCC. I mean, there's a ton of different armor sets coming in from Halo Online. So this kind of just makes me wonder like what other kind of content they'll borrow from that game and implement into the MCC. If you take a quick look at this helmet right here, you can definitely see this is something we do not have yet. I have not seen this anywhere else. And it definitely doesn't look finished yet. As you can tell, like the visor is not quite like reflecting light properly. Unless it's like some new kind of material that we haven't had a chance to play around with yet. But uh, you can see that's definitely new. And like I said, the lighting on this armor set, which is I, now I want this. I want this armor set. It's just not in the game right now. But we can check out some other screenshots. There are some other armor sets coming in as well. But before we go into the next screenshot, I just want to do a quick shout out for one thing that we're doing for a member of the Halo community. That's Hunter JJX. You might know him. He's a very prominent streamer on Twitch. He's been grinding that Halo 3 content, guys. But the thing is that recently, in real life, you know, it does exist. And he actually had his car stolen, which had a lot of his musical gear in there. He was able to find the car, even though it was kind of ripped up to pieces. But the gear was stolen, sadly. And it was a lot of gear. He has professional kind of gear because he's in a band. And to help him out as a fellow musician, that's absolutely heartbreaking for me. So what I went ahead and did, we set up a GoFundMe account for him right there. So I highly suggest go please check out that GoFundMe account. If you can't support it, please do. And if you can't, just share it around on Twitter, share it on Facebook or something just to help out a member of the Halo community. But let's get right back into the video here. There's another well-posed shot right here just showcasing the left armor set. That's definitely in the game. The right armor set's definitely in the game. The center armor piece, Definitely not in the game right now. It's kind of tough to see. I got another screenshot right after this one, but you can kind of see, again, it has like Tron looking armor set again, but with the now a Tron looking helmet, which honestly guys, like to me, you know, it might not fit that classic art style for Halo 3, but to me, it looks pretty freaking badass. Like here's another shot of it, probably a little bit better lighting for you to get a better view of what we're talking about here. That's definitely a helmet that's not in the MCC right now. So definitely want to keep an eye out for when that stuff does go live. When we probably will see this later on in the MCC. And when we do see that armor set, I guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. So make sure you subscribe to keep yourself up to date with everything going on. And we have some more Tron armor. Because I just like calling it called Tron because it has like that cool like lighting on the outside. This is a totally different armor set as well, but has like really cool lighting effect to it. Unless it's just like white stripes, but it looks like lighting to me with a different kind of helmet as well. This kind of reminds me, I believe, of the Waterworks helmet, if I remember that's the correct name for it. Uh, again, it doesn't exactly fit the Halo 3 aesthetic super well, but honestly, guys, like to me, it just looks really cool. And I'm really excited to see when this comes in. We have another shot right here, a different angle of the same 
or a piece right here. You can kind of get a better look at the legs a little bit right here, a better look at the arm and chest and stuff like that. Completely different armor set from the other lit up armor set that we have right there. Of course, you get a cool look at the Splendor weapon skin for the carbine as well. They got, like I tell you guys, like this trailer looked really freaking awesome. Here's the last screenshot I pulled from there. Again, like you can kind of see the same armor set as the last one we just looked at with the gold battle rifle. But if you look up at the helmet itself, that's definitely not in the game right now. This is definitely a completely different looking helmet. Again, some more customization, most likely coming in season six for the MCC, drawing more stuff from Halo Online, probably giving Halo 3 eventually, maybe if, throughout the next you know few seasons, we got six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 to still look forward to when it comes to seasonal content that you know we could see Halo 3 having the most customization in any Halo game because of the vast variety of content that was in Halo Online. Now seeing so much of Halo Online content coming into the MCC does make me wonder what other stuff are they looking to bring into the game as well. We do know that there are a ton of weapon skins and weapon variations and completely different weapons in Halo Online and it sounds like they kind of had to basically just do some minor tweaking on this stuff to make it work in the MCC since Halo Online was basically built off of the Halo 3 engine but implemented a lot of extra things that kind of came in with the newer Halo game so uh, there were a lot of really interesting weapon variations that are kind of like a combination of Covenant kind of elite style weaponry as well as human weaponry as well kind of combined together kind of stuff because it's all part of the Anvil initiative kind of station stuff that they were doing for the lore wise when it comes to Halo Online. So we could see some stuff like that. I would really like to see some maps from Halo Online come into the game. Uh, we do know that 343 did talk about this in a previous dev update and they didn't deny it coming into the game. They just said, hey, if it's possible, we'll do it. And since we're already starting to see some stuff from Halo Online come into the MCC, it would make me think that we would definitely would see this eventually down the line. If there was any time ever to bring in those pieces of content from Halo Online into the MCC, it would be like right now within the next you know, five, four seasons actually from six to 10. Now, like I said, I would love to see the maps come into the game, though some of them were kind of designed specifically with like sprint in mind, which Halo Online had, like the map edge from Halo Online definitely needs sprint. So I don't know if all the maps will be able to make it in. I think just to go ahead and throw them in anyways, just because it's just more content to mess around with, because why not just have it in there? Adding in the different weapon variations, if that's a possibility, I think it'd be a really cool thing. It'd be a, be a really fun thing to have like, you know, Super Fiesta from like Halo 5 essentially, but in Halo 3. To me, I would find that really fun because in Fiesta, you can kind of just play around with those weapons all you want. You know, it's kind of much more of a casual, just kind of blow them up kind of game mode. So I'm not too concerned about having the accurate weapons within the original style of the game. Now, obviously for like Team Slayer, I wouldn't be for adding in those new weapons, but for more wacky modes or just have it as an option in custom games. I mean, if it's a possibility, I, I would love to see that happen for the MCC. With later on seasons, I think it'd be awesome to have some weapon camos like we have or weapon skins, I should say, for uh, Halo Reach would be awesome. Some extra customization, if possible, for Halo 2 Classic and Halo 2 Anniversary. Uh, those games definitely need it. I know a lot of people in the Halo 2 community are kind of up in arms that like, Halo 3 and Reach get all the love. What about us? But, you know, I, I've heard that uh, the engine for Halo 2 is kind of a mess. I mean, even when Halo 2 launched on PC, it was kind of a mess. But let me know in the comment section down below what are your guys' interests when it comes to having these more of these Halo Online armor sets coming into the MCC. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. What kind of additional content would you like to see come to the MCC that you think would actually be a possibility? Let me know in the comments, guys. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen or over here. Got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.